Welcome back, everybody. We're here to pull cards for March the 8th. I'm going to be pulling one card per sign, so if you know your sun sign, you can get a little information like that. If you know your sun, moon, and rising, you get a little more, and if you know all your house positions, then you can really pull a lot of information out of a quick little read like this. So, let's get started, shall we? Aries, you're up first. What you have showing up is this side of the Ace of Swords in reverse. This just means that you are offering good advice or good information, passing along good information to somebody in your sphere of influence. We like it. You could be teaching a little one how to tie your their shoe. You could be coaching people on a 5,000 person conference call, but passing along good information to someone in your sphere of influence, Aries. Next up, we're looking at Taurus. So Taurus, what we have showing up here is the Page of Pentacles showing up in reverse. This is just telling me that you have some type of situation that's occurring that um, I'm really feeling like for a, lot of, for a lot of you, this has more to do with health than with actual money. Um, and so you may be getting some kind of news uh, about your health that you're not too thrilled about. So this could be something like... Um, finding out that you've got some kind of stomach bug or uh, taking a COVID test and getting a positive result instead of a negative one. Uh, uh, just finding out something about your health that is not your favorite thing to hear. This card doesn't really imply anything about it being very serious, not with it being a PIP card like that. Well, a court card like that, I should say. Um, I would not call this very serious, but it is something that's just saying you're not going to be feeling top notch for a day or two, I would guess. Next up, let's look at Gemini. This, by the way, means stock up on the vitamin C. <laughs> Geminis, what you have coming up here is the King of Pentacles. This tells me that you are um, going to be taking some things very slowly today, being very cautious about what you're doing. I feel like you're going to be cautious with your resources. You want to make sure that you're getting the best bang for your buck with whatever resources that you're using. Cancer. Cancers, you guys have the Two of Cups. This is telling me that there's something going on that you are attracted to today. This could be another person, uh, but it also could be some type of activity or a project just as well. But something that you're really attracted to, that you're fascinated by, and that you're sort of drawn into. All right, so let's see. That was Cancer. Next up, let's look at Leo. Leo, Seven of Wands, showing up here. This just means that you are standing your ground. I don't know. This Seven of Wands is... <sighs> I normally don't say stuff like this, but I, I, think, I think the depiction of the Seven of Wands could be so much better in this deck than what it is. <laughs> How are you going to how are you going to defend something that's like a foot taller than all the rest of the landscape? Come on, and you're going to call it yours. Uh, what's going on here, Leos? I really feel like there is something that you have that it was not easy for you to get. I feel like it's not a whole lot better than what the people around you have. But even though it's not a whole lot better, it was hard enough to get that you are definitely going to be defending it and making sure that it stays yours. Okay, so that's for Leo. Next up, let's look at Virgo. Virgo. Four of Pentacles, this side of the Four of, of Pentacles showing up in reverse. This just means, to me that you are putting out a lot of energy and effort today. And I think you're putting out a lot of energy and effort uh, kind of in a in a combined dual prong way. First of all, I think you're putting out energy and effort to find out the truth about something. Um, and also this is something that is, this energy and effort is gonna be something that expands you spiritually, whether you recognize it at the time or not. Okay, that was Virgo. Next up, let's do Libra. Okay, so Libra, as you guys have the Queen of Wands showing up in reverse, I do feel like Libras, there could be somebody showing up in your sphere of influence today that's a little overbearing. They would like to um, just tell you how things should be done. And I kind of feel like you let them do that to a certain point. 
and then you realize that you know what I just I kind of have to say something now <laughs> all right so I still think you're saying something kind of gently but you are letting this person know that they're kind of crossing the boundaries a little bit and you need them to you know trust you a little bit to do the things that you're supposed to do next up let's look at Scorpio -ho, Scorpio -ho. five of Pentacles showing up in reverse Five of Pentacles showing up in reverse is telling me that you have done something um, in the past to help make your budget a little bit looser and you're starting to actually see the fruit of that I think today. I think it's been kind of a, a, a process or there's been some type of build up to it where today you're actually seeing that budget get a little bit looser. Okay and da 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 yep. All right, that was Scorpio. Next up, let's look at Sagittarius. Okay, so Sagittarius, we have the Judgment card showing up this side in reverse. This is just telling me that you do have some type of opportunity to get back into doing something that you were involved with in the past. And with it coming up in reverse, even though you have that opportunity, looks to me like you're saying, you know what, I think I'm going to pass. I've actually moved on from whatever that was and it would feel like going backwards to go back to it now so I'm going to keep focusing on what's in front of me right now okay now I feel like some of you may go back to this again later though just not today and probably not this month but later all right next up let's look at that was Sagittarius next let's look at Capricorn so Capricorns you guys have the king of swords showing up in reverse Capricorns are they doing this or somebody else I feel like somebody has given you the silent treatment today it's kind of funny how I feel about that too I don't think that you're really thrilled about it on one hand but on the other hand I, th I think that it feels like a relief that somebody's given you the silent treatment it's almost like wow I don't have to hear their groaning and moaning today huh look how peaceful my day is <laughs> So if any of you are cross-watching for any Capricorns and you're thinking about giving them the silent treatment, you should just be aware it may not exactly be the punishment that you thought it would be. <laughs> Let's look at Aquarius. So Aquarius, we have this side of the devil, right side up. Right side up. This just talks about facing a major, major fear. Okay? Um, this is one of those things that, you know, it can even come about as a little kid like I can remember um, one time when I was really little that uh, me and my dad and a couple of my brothers were walking out to a pond to go fishing so he used to take us fishing we'd usually catch bluegill but you know it was something that we could do together and um, on the way out there we had to walk through a pasture and apparently my dad came across a snake he was in the lead he came across a snake and he just bolted like he just took off and he hollered snake <laughs> and I guess he expected all of us to take off too which we did in all fairness he knew us pretty well we all did nobody got bit but um, me and my brothers were young enough that that made an impression and uh, you know when when your little dad's not supposed to be afraid of anything dad was obviously afraid of that snake and so that made an impression that you know snakes are definitely to be respected if not totally feared um, so you know it, this can be something like that that is not necessarily uh, a logical fear um, you know to me I don't think it's logical to be terrified of snakes I think it's logical to give them their space when you see them especially if they're poisonous uh, and have some respect so this is what I'm trying to talk about here like there's some type of fear that you're facing that may not be a hundred percent logical it may just be something that was programmed into you at one point and so it's gonna it's gonna take doing some some self work and deactivating a trigger here to get to the other side of this fear the easiest way that I know to do that is look at whatever this is that you're afraid of and ask yourself first of all is this a rational fear 
And if it is a rational fear, then your next question is, if it actually happened, what would be the worst case scenario? And then once you've got that in your mind, then the next question is, if that worst case scenario happened, what would I do about it? And usually by the time you get that third question answered, then this is no longer as scary as it started out to be because you realize that, you know, there are ways to handle it. It's okay. So don't let this fear get the best of you. Don't let this fear control your actions or your decisions today. Instead, let it trigger you into doing some self-work and deactivating whatever that trigger is. All right? That's my advice on that card. Let's see. Next up, we have Pisces. So Pisces, Five of Swords showing up here. This is just telling me that there is some type of debate or argument that shows up in your experience today. And um, this is one thing that you really want to try to be careful about. And that is, you know, to be logical and, you know, reasonable as you're going through this. And also be a little bit uh, sympathetic to how the other person may be feeling as well. Because a lot of times when an argument comes up, it doesn't necessarily come up because of logical reasons. A lot of times when an argument or a debate happens, it happens because somebody is feeling insecure about something. And so a lot of times if we can get to the root of what is that insecurity and we can actually deal with that, then there's no more reason for an argument or a debate then things can move forward smoothly. So you just want to be really careful that you're paying attention to what could be going on in the other person's head rather than just reacting in a triggered type of way to whatever it is that they're saying. Okay, and that can help you be come to a more successful conclusion here. So that's what I've got for everybody. Thank you so much for being here. I do appreciate you all so much. Everybody have a fantastic, wonderful, thrilling day. And I'm looking forward to being of service to some of you personally later on today. And the rest of you, I'll see you back on the next video. Peace out.